Hey everyone, so today is Monday, it is the 2nd of May and I have just done my makeup, I still need to do my hair, I need to get dressed, but I think Dylan just woke up so we're going to go ahead and get him. Kylie, come on in to get Dylan. Hmm? Mommy, go get Dylan. what we're doing um lee is down at his brother's house at the moment so i'm trying to get myself and the boys ready um it's nice out so we'll probably go do something i don't know so yeah i guess we'll just wait and see what happens <laughs> <laughs> Hello dear. Hello dear. What are we doing today? I'm dusty. You want to scare me? <gasps> Come on, what are we going to do today? Um, Daddy, what are we going to do today? What are we doing, Chloe? It's just after rain, it's too wet for the party. Too wet for the party. It's too wet for the party. traveling to Wexford and um, we didn't really do much we just kind of walked around we got some food we forgot about the car we put like enough money in it for like two hours but we were longer than two hours and I was like I thought the car was only camped but it wasn't we avoided the camp situation so that was grand um, both boys are in bed now, they are absolutely shattered coming home. Kylan fell asleep in the car, Dylan winched the whole way home, and yeah, that that was not fun. But um, I am just going to sit now, I have in the laptop in front of me, I'm going to write a blog, see if I have any sort of footage from today that I can edit, 
So it is a little while later and I am just upstairs in my makeup room I really really need to be tidy like badly. Just need to sort out everything and I need to get proper storage for up here but um, for the meantime I'm just going to have to do it with it. But um, I am in the progress of doing it up. Um, because we're renting we are limited to what we can do with the room. But um when it's not as messy i will show you the room prop okay so here are the products here that i'm going to use um i just got sent these two so i will tell you a little bit about them but um so what i normally do is i use this olive leaf cleansing oil um i use this to take off the majority of my makeup and um, because it's oil based I don't really like the oily feel on my skin after it so then I use this cleansing cream wash and I swear to god my face feels so so soft after using this and it's both of these products are really cheap lads um I know this is like in around 8 or 9 euro but it's a massive bottle let me see if it says how much yeah it's a 270 ml bottle that's crazy um, so if you're looking for a new um, cleanser, give this one a try. I totally recommend it. And if you're a person who likes oil-based products, I really do think you'll like this one. Um, and as for Nivea, like Nivea is like safe, isn't it? It's like that product that you know um, you're always going to be kind of guaranteed a nice product with. Um, I actually got sent this one, so... Um, I said I'd give it a try and I absolutely love it and I'm halfway through already and I know I will 100% be reparsing this one. It says it cleanses thoroughly, protects from drying out with skin caring ingredients from Nivea for all the skin types. So yeah, that's those two. So that's what I'll do. Also have these two new Bioderma ones. Um, interestingly enough, when I was reading the back of this, it says it makes a great makeup base. So I'm really interested to try this one. It says you can use it in the evenings and in the mornings. And the same as this one. This is just a light moisturiser. And then this is a intense hydration, freshness and radiance serum. It's also hyperallergenic. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll use the serum. Because I'm interested to try the serum. So I'll probably try that after. Yeah. I'll try that after the cleansing cream wash. So these are the three products I will be using on my face. Okay, so I'm going to use this cleansing oil first and I'll show you what it's like. I'm just going to use these really big oval um, cotton pads from Penny's. I, I used to use the smaller circular ones but I found I was going through so many of them because I actually do wear quite a lot of makeup. So the bigger ones just remove more. actually looks like oil. Can you see that? It looks like oil. What I do is I just kind of rub it in onto the pad and then I just kind of like... This can be quite sensitive on the eyes so what I tend to do is kind of avoid the eye area and I will use some of the Nivea eye makeup remover. I'm because I got this into the video for it's too much. Oh, how cute am I? Oh my god, definition of a panda eye. Right there. Anyone else find that they go through a lot of these contents? Like, I'm not too worried about the makeup left in my hair then because between the Nivea wash and all that that the oil come out. So 
So now that the majority of the makeup is on my face, I'm gonna go with that Nivea eye makeup remover and then I'm gonna take my eyes off. So this is the Nivea eye makeup remover. It is um, oil based one as well so you have to give it a shake so that the oil and the water mix and it kind of goes this kind of color then you do exactly the same as you did with the other one and apply it onto your cotton pad I don't know why I'm talking that way and um, honestly this is one of the best um, eye removers I've ever used. It's really sensitive on the eye and it actually removes the eye makeup. I have Inglot gel liner number 77 on me today and you saw how easy it got rid of that. about the rest of the makeup that's kind of left because with the Nivea that's all going to come off anyway. So now that I have used both of the makeup removers I am going to go in and use this Nivea Cleanse and Wash and I really wish you could feel how soft my skin is after this. So you only need a little small amount what I do is kind of warm the palette up in my fingers. And then I get some water. And this is when I kind of go in around. Gonna read this. Um, ooh, it's a cute little bottle. It's the Bioderma Hydra Bio Serum. And the directions for use are: apply serum morning and or evening all over the face. Next, next, <laughs> next. other products so basically just after you cleanse or tone so if you use alone or before cream of the name drop again hydro bio range um it's fresh and melting texture provides an excellent paper face it actually says here deploy So I guess if it says you can use it as a makeup base, you can use it as a primer. So I will give it a go with a primer tomorrow. And I'm not too overly impressed with primers in general. I just don't seem to really 
see a difference on days I use a primer and days I don't use a primer. Um, I do have an oily tea zone. Um, so I just tend to set it with a little bit more powder and sometimes I use a setting spray. But only recently I've started to use setting spray and like that as well, like I don't really see a huge difference but um, I guess I could do a video on YouTube for you to see like do one whole day using a setting spray, one whole day using a primer and one whole day using none and see what that's better. If you would like to see that video let me know in the comments below. This sounds quite interesting. So yeah, that's all dried in now and it feels really nice on the skin. So there you go. There are the products that I used. Well, not all the products that I used because I only tried this tonight. But they are, like, I use this every night. So yeah. And I used this the last week or so and I've been loving it. So that's it. I think I am going to take my hair out of this. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah.